Hi, I'm Mr. Heinrich with Tactical Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your old Ames standalone edition from Beta 1 and make it compatible with Beta 2's forms. First thing you need to do is locate your Ames standalone edition, the old one, and create a copy. So I'm just going to copy that, paste it, and that's going to be your backup copy. After that, I'll go ahead and open up this uh, edition. You know, just let you know I already have downloaded the new version here, which you'll need this BAS file later. So we old, open up the original file with all your old information while holding down the shift key on your keypad. If you get that error, don't worry about it. If the security option comes up, just go to options enable this content and before you click this OK hold down the shift key on your keyboard again and then press OK while holding it down and you should see this uh, panel open up to the left hand side you need to go to database tools visual basic and it will bring up this visual basic window if you go to file import file and locate that BAS file we were talking about earlier It'll be called update aim schema.bas. Go ahead and open it and then locate it in this panel here under modules. Click on it, highlight it, and press the run macro button either from the play button, F5 key, or run menu. It might pop up with this. Go ahead and press run. And it should pop up with this window saying schema has updated successfully. If it did not, feel free to contact us at tacticaltechadm at gmail.com. Go OK. We can go ahead and remove this. Right click, remove update schema. Uh, no on removing it, or no on exporting it. And go ahead and close this Visual Basic window. Next thing you want to do is ensure that this is sorted by object type just by clicking that drop down and what we want to do is get rid of all the old forms and queries and all the other objects associated with the old aim system without deleting any of the tables so scroll on down mine begins with contacts extended scroll all the way down to the bottom press it and hold the shift key on your keyboard and click the last item and that should highlight all these items and again ensure that you're not deleting any of these tables because we're going to go ahead and hit the delete key on the keypad or we can just right mouse click and delete here I'll pop up with this and I'll say yes to delete them all and this may take a minute after that we should be left with just the tables themselves now go ahead and move this off to the side and we're going to open up the new aims standalone database without any information in it. As you open this up, again, hold down the shift key so it will bring up this menu here. In this case, we don't need to enable the options because we're just going to copy from here. Again, go ahead and sort everything by object type and do not click any of the tables. We're just going to do about the same thing we just did highlight from that first object there under tables all the way down here to update name mod mapping don't worry about the update schema that pretty much served its purpose and again ensure that you didn't select any of these tables just right mouse copy and let's go back to the standalone the original one file we've been working with right mouse and paste this is where it gets fun. It'll pop up with a window for each object you're copying over, so it'll take forever. Just basically hit OK for each one. Do not change the name on any of them. And this will take a minute. After that, you can go ahead and close both of these. If it asks you to empty the clipboard, just says yes. Go ahead and close that and open up your old Ames standalone 
actual original file. Click on options, enable this content, and just ensure that it's popping up with all your data that you had in the old database. If it is, uh, go ahead and test it out. A couple of buttons, and if it all works out for you, congratulations, you have now been upgraded. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.